So many of you wanted to build your own hexapod and were asking about the design and the parts. So we are going to build a new hexapod robot together. The servos that I'm using on my hexapod are mid-range RC servos and are priced at $33 each. That makes a total of $600 just for the servos, which immediately turns it into an expensive project. That's why I bought these MG996 servos that are the cheapest I could find in this torque range and I'm going to build a new hexapod with them. My plan is to share the process with you while I'm building it and release the parts and the software that I'm using in each step. But remember that it's going to be a work in progress for a while and things will change often. Whenever you want to use a budget RC servo like this one for any high precision tasks such as in a robot, you must calibrate your servo. To calibrate the servos, I'm using a servo tester like this one. Servo tester is a simple device that generates PWM signal with adjustable pulse width and can drive an RC servo. Because I had to do this so many times, I also printed this simple tool that helps with the process and you can get it from the link in the description. It is made up of a 90 degree ruler and a servo arm. The ruler sits on top of the servo like this and should also fit any other standard size servo. First, make sure to center the servo by setting the pulse width to 1500. Then attach the arm as straight as you can. It is okay if you are not able to fit the arm exactly centered. Then use the servo tester to find the pulse width for the plus and minus 45 degrees by moving the arm to the right and left until it reaches the two ends of the ruler. Make sure to write down these two numbers. I will tell you how to use them later. I use these values in the code to fine tune the pulse width. For example, we can center the servo by averaging the two values. To be safe, do not remove the servo arm. Also, don't forget to mark the servo. I calibrated all four of my servos the same way and plotted the results on this graph. As you can see, the lines are not perfectly parallel and there is around 2.5% of difference in the rate of change between the four servos, which is about 2 degrees in a right angle. But I expect this margin of error to grow when I calibrate all 18 servos. Four servos is enough to build a single leg and I want to fully test them before buying all 18 of them. But that will be in the next video. Thank you for watching.